Do you laugh at me? I'm sorry, boy, but you're saying this girl's father threatened you. Yeah. Threatened you. Yeah. That's just ridiculous. I mean, you're more than powerful enough to kill everyone, well, almost everyone. What, what do you mean? Well, you can't kill me. <laughs> I doubt you could take on the maker, let alone the horseman. The who? Uh, don't worry about it. Yeah, they're, they're no fun. Not a factor, not yet. Okay. We'll put a pin in that. But still, I don't want him to hate me for... Oh, he already hates you. There's no stopping that. Believe me, when it comes to their children... Parents will do whatever they deem necessary to protect them. At least the good ones will. Yeah, some get imprisoned just for protecting them. But that's just life. Hmm. Well, either way, now I'm betrothed to her. Congratulations! Yeah, but she seems very, you know, what? Like, she's not really into it. Believe me. She's into it. She likes you. Really? You think so? Trust me. It's just the fact that her father is essentially threatening you to have to like her. That is what's really going through her mind, and that is why she's acting more like, oh, I can't believe this is happening. Oh. But yeah, all marriages, you two like each other, great! So don't let her father ruin a possibly good thing for you. Huh. Yeah, all right. That sounds doable. Great. Now, back to training. How's your uh, shell surfing going? What? Yeah, shell surfing. Ugh, why did I ever let you browse the internet? It's bad enough you found that what? What? Oh, some of that, uh, more mature animation. I'm just surprised you had so many tabs open. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, yeah. I, I saw your history. Ginger Ben All Might, huh? Uh, I, uh, uh, Midnight Eggs Miracle. Hmm? Please, please, don't say anything else. Hey, I'm not judging. From uh, what I saw, you, you, you have some interesting preferences. Yeah, at least, at least I know you like them big. Hey, I'm not judging. Just, I'm going to leave my, his, my search history forever. I, 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 I can't, I can't deal with them. Hey, it's not my fault. If anything, that makes sense. You're... I believe around that age, so of course you would. Please stop. Okay. 
Hmm. Very well. Either way, Jowl Surfing, how are you doing on it? G good. It's, 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 uh, it's going great. Right. That's good to know. Anything uh, happening at school? Well, no, not really. She was really disappointing me. Whenever I look at her, she turns her head, not looking at me. Yeah, she likes you. She's very embarrassed. Hmm. Yeah, maybe you're right, Crowfather. So, you already bonded with Shadow's maid, right? Yep. Good, good. Have they started fighting yet? What? Oh, yes. With all the ravens you're about to collect, they're going to have a hive mind. At least the ones that are bonded to you are. Really? Yes. All my crows are bonded to me. They are very least, uh, you know. The hive mind can get jumbled, considering I use them for information gathering and the like. Huh. Interesting. Yes. If anything, I also there's a, a certain cocky bastard have one of mine. Though I can still communicate as well summon them whenever I weird. Eh, I'm just I was just too powerful for him to really be needed. You sound like a real cocky bastard yourself. You know that? Yes. I know I am one of the most powerful beings in existence. There's no one who can truly match me once I go all out. Do I forget what I told you about the ones who actually brought an army of golems to take me on just for me to destroy their whole army single-handedly, even when Death and Micro did show up? It was already too late. I have decimated a whole army by myself. I have earned the right to brag. Wow. Huh. I guess hum being humble isn't really a, a thing. <laughs> humble. Humble. Humble? Oh, please, I don't gotta be humble for nothing. <sighs> Seriously. Maybe if there was someone stronger than me, I would be more kind or whatever. But face it, there's no one who can match my power and truly a one on one confrontation. Then again, I was. What? Um, nothing. Nothing at all. Well, come on, now you got me curious. No, 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 it's nothing, it's nothing. Ugh. Seriously. Um. Let's just finish your train for a day, then we can just relax. Hmm. Okay. So you don't want to tell me. There's nothing to tell. Oh, yes, there may be a certain entity or a few that can actually match me. Or potentially kill me. Wait, actually, yeah, that's right. 
Ooh, how would you die to begin with? So the result of you losing your body? Oh, like an old age or like, no, no. Yeah, I'm a horseman. Oh, so he, huh, is he that powerful? No. Well, uh, he could possibly be, especially nowadays. But no, I had to let him win. I got so tired of all the voices in my head. Ugh, I just had to make him stop somehow. That was the easiest option. Death was the easiest option. You getting killed was the easiest option for you. Yes, he wouldn't take the amulet with the souls of those damn Nephilim siblings of his. So I had no choice but to die. <sighs> wow, that's... I can't believe that's how you went out. Trust me. You go through years of screams of agony, betrayal, raw anger, sadness and sorrow, all of that. You go through that for years, just going within your mind. You will lose your sanity, too. Ugh. It was, it was so freeing to not have to worry about. Oh, uh, well, either way, that was then, this is now. Yeah. So, <clears throat> well, the following. What are you, uh, um, wow. This is, uh, this is what I get for telling you anything. No, 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 it, it's, it's okay, it's okay, it's just, huh. Oh, well, for anything, it was your choice. I don't. Um, crazy choice, I believe it was, is still your decision. And now you just want your corporeal body back. <sighs> crazy, though. It's actually very incredible. Despite now, you're... I don't know what to really say. You're... Very impressive, I know. But enough of the flattery. Let's get on to your training. As soon as Zuku does go back to school, Kagakure still is avoiding him by the plague, but she's also telling all the other girls on how she really feels about him. Mina pretty much... Okay, how about this? I have a perfect idea. What? You tell the truth of how you feel? I will. I'm sorry? Oh, yeah. Wait, wait. So you're saying you... Oh. Yeah, I will. But... Do uh, you even like... Oh, yeah. I think he's very cute. Uh, so you would... Uh, you actually like him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I do. It's here you tell him that you like him, or I'll tell him that I like him. The point of difference is, my dad isn't threatening him. Let alone, I'm not afraid to tell him just how I feel. If anything, he probably thinks you're doing this out of obligation due to the whole stereotype, like, I can never get married again, you saw me. Crap. Oh. 
Yeah, didn't think about that, did you? Oh dear, I... Huh. Yeah. Wait, so you re really would? As your friend. You damn right I would. I'll confess to him before you do. But what if he rejects you? Hmm. Guess if he rejects me, I guess that gives you the green light, wouldn't it? Then again, that's if he rejects me. Why do you say like that? There's always a chance that he won't. Mina! You're my friend! I am. And you had to break out of your comfort zone. You gotta burst a bubble or something. You have to find a way so you don't... I'm not gonna force you to tell him how you feel. Right now, he probably thinks you hate him. Uh, I don't. Does he know that? Um. Exactly. Okay. For what I heard when it comes to our next assignment, it should be mm, rescue training. All you have to do is tell him on the way there or something. Just, you know. Hmm. Uh, I'll, um. Oh, this is going to be a train wreck if you don't throw some stones. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind. Either way. You can do this. I believe in you. Really? Yeah. 50-50. Uh, boy, wait, wait. You do or you don't? 50-50. There's a 50-50 chance that you will and or won't. Confess to him. It all depends on you. So you have no faith at all. None whatsoever. Look, we're friends, so. I support you as much as I can. So you won't confess your. Oh, uh, I will, if you don't. I'm so cruel to him. Mm hmm. Yeah, and there's nothing that says that he might find someone else. What kind of friend? Oh, here he is. Here's your chance. Um, hey, Izuku, can we uh, talk? Uh, sure. Um, what about? It's about um uh, this whole. Um, you know, this whole patrol little thing, you know, it's us dating and, um, hmm, what about it? I know my dad could seem to be a bit much, but, I, um, uh, <clears throat> all right. Yeah. We're going to have some rescue training. Yeah, all I can say is please don't embarrass yourselves. That's the thing I need is for me to have a bunch of crying students again. Again? <laughs> you heard me. Let's go. On the bus, Hagakure does say with Izuku, but she still is not saying anything. While well, Izuku gets her help is Okay. 
I have this strange feeling in my gut. Let me try some uh, some sensory type shit. Let's, let's see if I can find anything that will cause this gut feeling to arise within me. As soon as he do get to the USJ, Izuku already senses that there are way more people than he would have expected. Of course, he brings us up with Mr. Aizawa, who pretty much just rushes him aside and don't worry about it. Yeah, you're probably just a little paranoid. Him having you say, it's part of my quirk. It's one of the abilities that my quirk has. Really? Hmm. Oh, well, let's see what happens. What? Yeah, let's see if your clerk is correct. Him opening the doors, 13, of course. Being heard of the speech, as I was being half, half on guard, just waiting for the other shoe to drop. And then it does. In which, yeah, they're trapped. Well, Izuku could easily get out of there, but he, he's not really strong enough to get everyone out at the moment. But this makes a good time for him to actually try his strength against actual villains. Hmm. Well, looks like my quirk was right. You don't have to be a smart ass about it. I don't? Because I was right. You didn't believe me. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm sorry. What was that? Sorry. Next time you say you have a bad feeling or whatever, I'll believe you. Happy? Yes. Did it hurt you to really uh, apologize and admit you were wrong? A little. All is forgiven. Now let's get to being the part about these villains. Excuse me? Yeah, we're going to beat the snow of these villains. We. Oui. I'm sorry, you expect me to allow you to fight villains now? Oh, I, well, I, I would have assumed, well, you assume wrong. Well, they're too strong for you. Do you want to risk being wrong again? Man, you're a cheeky bastard. Yeah, you should. You should see my master. What? I mean, let's get to fighting villains. He's like it was easy being able to take on countless villains, especially the weaker or more versatile ones. So, boy, yeah, they had to use a note early, a lot earlier than anticipated. Izuku seeing this thing, he instantly feels like something is wrong with it. You are obviously not normal. Him analyzing it, seeing that, okay, yeah, the brain being outside is weird, of course. The animalistic tendencies, the way it fights. Huh. I wonder if those muscles are just for show, or is there some real power to them? Him being more than happy to test out to see how much punishment this thing can take. Him being completely like, what the hell? Seeing that each and every one of his punches, his kicks, this thing is just eating it. Shigaraki, of course. He's bragging. Oh, why wouldn't he? he? 
and just starts mouthing off and telling him, like, yes, yeah, yes, yes, you see here, this thing was created to kill all night. <laughs> created, you say? Yes. We get some uh, very unique quirks specifically to kill him. Really? Please, explain which ones. What, 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 what'd you give him? Wait, how did you? Never mind. Please keep telling me what you've done like an idiot. What? what? Nothing. <clears throat> Please keep talking. Well, shock absorption. Oh, that explains that. Super straight. Sure, figure that. Hyperspeed regeneration. Huh. Yes. Even all might want to be able to kill this thing. Especially as weak again as he is. What? Oh, you don't know. <laughs> well, uh, you're going to die anyway. And I was like, yeah, all might's weak. At least compared to how he was in his prime, he has been weakened considerably. Hmm. Is it good looking back, realizing that all my appearances have been lessened compared to how they were back in his heyday? But that makes so much more sense. Huh. I should have known. Okay. Anyway, thanks for the information. Yeah, now I can just kill this thing without any regret or remorse. What? Is it just cutting off its head? Shigaraki is, of course, like, what just happened? Izuku just having a smile on his face, like, yeah, I killed your beast. Quite, quite easily, actually. I, wait, 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 but I think it was meant to kill All Might. Yeah, All Might. Y you do know what the kind of fighter he is, right? Uh, wait, I, uh, yeah. See, All Might is a, if anything, a brawler. So, yeah, when he, when he fights, he uses brute force. Which, yeah, shock absorption, strength, all those other cords cor you gave him, yeah, that would help against All Might. Of course. Well, it doesn't really cover everything, does it? Like a decapitation by a sharp blade. I uh, think of it like this. All Might is a sledgehammer. I can be a sword, a blade if I need to be. Don't get me wrong, I can use brute force too, but it doesn't always work. So yeah, they have to leave. Uh, would you just... Don't worry, it was artificial human. If anything. I'm pretty sure it used to be human. Please explain. From what I can tell, this thing was human. But it's been through a lot of abuse. So to speak. Please, uh, would you, would you wouldn't mind uh, explaining what you mean by that? Ugh. Well, all I can say is this poor individual was really went been through the ringer. And he said he, they gave it works, but I don't understand. Like, how? 
What? Yeah, it's weird. I, I uh, uh, huh. Gave him the quirks. Um, I guess we'll have to tell all my whenever he gets here. There's, yeah, I got great. Of course, she does want to be like, okay, now's my chance. As in, uh, she sees something no one else does. For some reason, the Nomu, without its head, rises. And before it can land a strike on Izuku, the Gakurei pushes him out of the way. So she takes the full force of that punch. Everyone, of course. They're wondering what just happened. Izuku, seeing this, he's of course shocked. It's like, how? Yeah. Seeing the blood, which he knows it didn't came from Nomu, he runs straight to wherever it leads. And he notices that, yeah, Gagre's body temperature is getting. Terribly low. He can feel that she's getting cold. Him, like, I can't believe. Uh, okay. Thank you, Crow Father, for teaching me this first. As he slowly begins to heal her, seeing it, though he's not as strong as Crow Father. He can at least repair certain damage. Only thing is, he goes a bit overboard. He's... He accidentally... Deactivates her quirk. And though, yes, yeah, she is... As per Izuku's recommendation... Has a suit... <laughs> Made of her own skin cells that do go invisible. Yeah, that still doesn't help the fact that it's a skin tight suit. The measurements are too perfect. So when everyone sees her hair, her face, her eyes starting to finally gain the life back into them. Her in the spare of the moment? Grabs her arms around Izuku and kisses him. Surprising. Everybody, Mina is high fiving her best friend. And then Hagakure notices oh, wait, everyone's watching us. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Seeing that. Wait, you can see me? Of course I can see you, not you. Just looking at the whole class. They're nodding their heads, yes, we can see you. The Gagare, of course, is not only happy, but she is embarrassed. Because not only did she kiss Izuku in front of everyone, which everyone was clearly able to see now. But her costume is, of course, it's not something you would want your parents to see you wearing. Especially considering he... Oh, God. He had to make her quirk on her body by accident. Not her suit. Her suit is still active. So, yeah. 
Oh, yes, it's skin tight. There's nothing literally protecting her from that. So, yes, you can imagine there are some bloody noses. There are a bunch of newly formed craters where perverts are known to reside. So, Izuku, of course, being how he is, shields her. Even takes off his hero costume to an extent to provide her cover. But, yeah, all in all, it was a good day. Back in the infirmary, Recovery Girl is shocked to see this, especially after reviewing the cameras. Like, you healed her, literally. She was on death's door. It, I mean, you were right there. All she had to do was walk through it. But you... Yeah. I did not know you had a healing quirk. So strong. Uh, yeah. As you uh, so can just imagine... Recovery Girl's mind is like, Okay, I wonder who how... Strong it really is when it comes to pre existing injuries. Oh, they work pretty well. Huh? Pre existing injuries? Oh, yeah, I can heal those too. Wait a minute. Oh, sorry. You can read minds? It's a passive thing. I try not to do it that often. Oh. Oh, no. No, no, no. That, that is bad. How, how much did you hear? Nothing, really. It was just... Mm. <sighs> anyway. I might have a patient that would require your expertise. All right. How did... The villains. Somehow they knew about it. Really? Yep. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. And this thing was artificially created. Huh. It's weird the fact that it continued to move even after you captivated it. Yeah. If anything, that's actually something that can occur as a last-ditch effort. Like, if I'm going down, you're going down with me type of, you know, Hmm. Yes. Either way, very impressive. Uh, thank you. Uh, where are my parents? Oh, oh, that's right. Um, they're right outside. As soon as recovery girl opens that door. And Gagaway's father and mother just burst into the room, hugging her, looking at her for the first time. They are crying tears of utter happiness. And now they can update all of their family pictures. Because when it came to her quirk being active, all the time. Yeah, family portraits. Family photos. Uh, yeah, kind of hard to do that. Yeah. So, you were able to deactivate my daughter's quirk. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Thank you. Uh, for what? 
was saving her as well. I mean, I know I was a bit of a overprotective dad, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. Trust me, it's fine. If anything, I'd be upset if you weren't an overprotective dad. I mean, it's kind of obvious that you care about her. I mean, so I'd be wrong if you didn't. Right. But to treat you like that was very unprofessional and inappropriate. And I, though I did apologize sort of after being your family. Uh, okay, this is kind of, this is, uh, I didn't expect to, he's just trying to say sorry. He sincerely apologizes. Yada, yada, yada. Everything's good now. Is that pretty much what you want? Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Good. <sighs> And, uh, so, um, dear, yeah, mom, heard from one of your classmates that you, in the spur of the moment, kissed Izuku? Wait, what, what, wait, wait, what? You what? It was a spur of the moment. Oh, 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 I'm sorry, what? He's like, oh, man. You just started dating, but you already went that far? No, I mean... It was a spurt of moment. He just saved me, and as I was getting my senses back, I, him being the first person I saw, I just felt happy. Uh huh. You, you know, there's something else you could do when you're happy. What, what what was it? You smile. People usually smile when they're happy. You just somebody. <clears throat> oh. Well, uh, we're dating. Since we. You want to finish that sentence? Yeah, or I. I walked into that one. I really did. Oh, oh the Lord. Well, what do you have to say about my daughter, young Midoriya? What do you mean? What am I? He just admitted that she. It's you that she actually likes you. <laughs> Please tell me you have something you have an answer for. Yeah. I like her too. <laughs> Seeing that they're holding hands. Okay, okay, it's an affection. You, you can go now. Um, what? Looking at Recovery Girl, who is fuming mad and holding a very big syringe. How about all three of you leave? This is a infirmary. 
Oh, right. Uh, come on, boy. No, 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 no. I mean, you, your wife, and Miss Agakure. What? But she... She's fine. If anything, all she needed was a good nap. Even then, that's questionable. If anything, she really just passed out due to embarrassment at that time. Wait, but why is he... why is he... I have something to discuss with him. Boy, what did you do? I did nothing wrong. Dad. <laughs> oh, you're the lucky little shit, aren't you? <laughs> the one who trained me is worse. Oh, I bet. Where are you going? Yes. He's a goose. He's all my his debuff state, and he's already. Who's the who's the walking skeleton? This is all might. No, seriously, who's the walking skeleton? And buff me up. Like, no, that's an imposter. In fact, I will take care of him right now if you would want me to. No, 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 I am. I'm actually all might. Uh-huh. Okay. Wait. So, is this what you really like? How do I explain this? Technically speaking, yes. For now. That's why we were hoping that you could possibly heal me. Hmm. So, what the villains were saying was true. You really were injured. Yeah, it's showing the scar. What? Yeah. How are you still alive? I am very lucky. Like, seriously. Very, very lucky. <laughs> no kidding. Just wow. Huh. That's that's incredible. So um you just want me to heal you up? Is that pretty much it? Yes. Uh, okay. No, no problem. Suzuku actually analyzes what's wrong with him and realizing just how far back the injury goes. He's like, okay, this injury is a lot. Wow, you've dealt with this for years. And that's, that's crazy. This might take more time than I anticipated. What? As far as healing you completely in one go, that will take a, a lot of stamina that I don't have. A lot of energy. I mean it. Ugh. If I can, if I pace myself, I say two hours. Strange, you healed that girl within. Minutes. Wow, that's because not only were, uh, you know, uh, due to other circumstances, I was very worked up. It was also a fresher, you know, wound, or so to speak. You 
You've had this for years. Yes. Yes, I have. So yeah, forgive me, but it's going to take a bit more to heal that. But yeah, if I pick myself two hours tops, is it going to hurt? No. Oh, good. Yeah, it shouldn't hurt me at all. What? <laughs> Don't be a baby. And as Izuku's healing all my, then he starts talking and asking, What happened to you to do this to you? Him explaining everything, especially when it comes to all for one. And his quirk. That explains how they made that thing. What? Oh, that uh, beast you killed. Yeah. Could be that Awful One is either still alive or, you know, transferred his quirk to someone else. Because Chizar, he's not dead. may be right. Yeah. That would make sense. Ugh. Well, if he is still alive, I have to do something. But, ugh. oh, yes, and young Midoriya. Yeah. I owe you uh, an apology. What for? You see, when you started displaying these works of yours, I was afraid that you may have been all oh, you thought I was one of all for one's minions. Yes. Huh. Yeah, makes sense. What? Wait, you're just fine with... I'm admitting that I misjudged you. Oh, yeah, that's fine. I mean, you know what Awful One is capable of. I can so happen to fit certain criteria to make you suspect that I might have been in cahoots with him. Just because I have utilized more than one Quirk. Hmm. But what made you not suspect me anymore? You going up against the villains. You utilizing your strength. And your though vulgar <laughs> methods and speed of taking down the what did he call it again? Nemo. Right, the Nobu. Ah. Oh, okay. So that's pretty much what cleared me, huh? Yes. Ah, oh, great! <sighs> Seriously. This awful one guy seems very... Dangerous, and we're definitely going to, have to do something. We? Yes. You want to? Oh, yes. Seriously, this guy seems like a complete jerk. A real super villain that needs to be taken care of. Precisely what do you mean by that? Off the record, possibly past tense. Oh, wow, you are very open to the thoughts of <clears throat> ending someone. I am actually quite surprised. 
then again, listen, not everyone who you want to save can be saved, let alone wants to be saved. Though it may be a sweet sediment or whatever. <sighs> I mean, though, yes, you thought you killed them, you would rather have him in prison, you know, Tartarus. Not all criminals will get rehabilitated or want to be rehabilitated. They just want to cause destruction. And someone like Off One, for what you've told me, he needs to be dealt with permanently. Before he even is able to possibly think about who he wants as a success. Oh, wait a minute. What? That villain who was telling to know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Considering how much he knew about the Nomu, chances are he's, uh, Particularly close to Alpha One. Really? Yeah, call it a hunch. But chances are, yeah, they know each other. Nice. They're in close proximity. Hmm. Hey, Shadow. Oop. Oh, this must be the raven. As then more ravens show up. I thought you only had one. Oh no, I... <laughs> I've obtained more. How did you... Don't worry about it. Anyway. I'll use these guys. You know, to gather information. Really? Yeah, if they learn anything about for one, you know, his movements or anything. Yeah, I feel like it would be very helpful. Yes, actually, it really would. Ugh. He's the type of villain who likes to stick to the shadows, you know, not draw too much attention to himself, which caused him to be very elusive. Yeah. Yeah. No doubt about that. So, so, uh, for anything, let's find this guy and, uh, take him out. Mm. You really want him to be arrested, don't you? If possible. If possible. Yeah, sure. If he's able to be taken in alive, I can do that. <laughs> 